Mason Dixon Brew Reviews. Y'all ready for this? Yeah! So how y'all doing? I had the honor and privilege of not only doing a review for this beer, but also the pleasure of drinking it. Hacker, sure, I'm not sure exactly, I'm not shaman. But the original Oktoberfest, this is what I'm talking about, so I'm guessing by saying original, you must be the people that made it for Prince Ludwig. So that is the reason that they celebrate Oktoberfest in the first place is the Prince of Bavaria. Uh, so here we go. They want to make a special drink for him. Let's take a little peek. I don't have my special drinking glass. But hey, I found a glass. So let's check it out. Oh, come on. Jeez. I just want to see that amber. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, we definitely saw how good it can be. So we're judging this on three different categories. I forgot to go into that part. I'm sure you've seen quite a bit of my reviews, but I'm going for appearance, flavor, aroma, and overall impression of what the beer was like. So I'm a sucker for anything multi. You know this. Uh, I mean, look at that. That's amber. The color between orange and gold is amber. That looks pretty amberish to me. Not necessarily orange, not necessarily gold, not necessarily red, not necessarily copper. So there you go. <sighs> Aroma. Well, you got this foaminess going. So no, let me get out of this picture. Let me see that in the camera. How does that look in the camera? Okay, yeah, amberness. Oh, yeah, you can see that. So. Smells hmm, malty, not super malty, but it doesn't smell like big god. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whoo! Oh uh, yeah, that was pretty darn good. That was cocaine. Uh, it's actually better out the glass. That's so funny. I never really noticed until now. Uh, mm. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So I'll give the appearance of five. Flavor, that's what I'm talking about. This is, is kind of unique. Like, it uh, seems to me, it's got a typical kind of German beer, Pilsner, whatever body. But the flavor, I'm guessing it's Munich malt is what people are using to kind of give that little deep copper color. I know like Sam Adams goes for that and like five malts. So I'm guessing if you're using German malts, what could you possibly be using? Besides what German pills in Vienna and I'm guessing like portions of Melodondin and now that gets it pretty bready, but this is a like light breadiness. It's, it's not really that toasty. It's not really that like pretzely bready flavor that like kind of hits you over the head when like German I mean American Oktoberfest that's pretty darn good it's pretty darn good and overall I mean my taste buds really weren't worthy of what I just drank, but it was delicious. So overall, I'm going to definitely get it a five, and how could I not? So with this, what, Hacker Purist, whatever the hell, P-S-C-H, yeah, you got me there. I don't know where you're going with that. Psycho was the first thing that comes to mind. And uh, original Oktoberfest, this was a treat, a treat, a treat. I'm telling you something. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Mason Dixon Brewers. 
Uh, oh, untapped. Also, I'm about to enter my 700 beer, which I know doesn't seem that extraordinary, but I am in a shitty ass county that locks down all the beer sales for the first, I say, 15 years of my drinking experience was one beer. Then I might have moved to import. So I think in the past three to four years, to have drank 700 beers is pretty darn good. Uh, considering I just started getting into brewing and things like that a couple years ago. I had the privilege to get different beers. More breweries are open up, so getting more fortunate. But I hope you enjoyed. Always go out there, drink something that you like. Uh, what was something I heard the other day? If you don't like the beer you drink, at least like drinking beer. I will see you. Till next time. Cheers.